Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Aston Villa facing Burnley. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And this the initial 11 for Burnley. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Ben Mee plays alongside James Tarkovsky in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Thank you for attending Villa Park. Enjoy the match. And so the match is underway. He's managed to lose his marker. And he cuts in from the wing. Tremendous block. And really closing him down. Me. Ashley Westwood on the ball. Chris Wood. Vidra. Vidra. Can they forge ahead? And the ball is loose. And there it is. A goal. I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. happy to pass the ball but remaining patient well honestly I didn't mean to jinx them just wasn't a very good pass finally Josh Brownhill giving the ball to the opposition that time El Ghazi Delivered into the box. No nonsense clearance. Douglas Luiz. Bailey. Read it superbly to take back possession. Making progress. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. 
And a time for composure on the ball. The defender doing his job. It's there for him. And not cleared away properly. And just a bit too much height on the header. Again, but ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. McNeil. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. And how about the short corner? Good one, Son. McNeil. Westwood. Wood. Taylor. Top class defending. Promising attack, this. So nearly at half-time, and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. Emiliano Buendia. And that wasn't a million miles away, almost the equaliser. Well, it's not a bad effort, is it? But they've got to find a way back into this one. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Westwood Josh Brownhill that is that for the first half here well he's been the standout for his side so far don't you think Stuart well I thought he had a really effective first half not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead but his general play was really good he was a constant threat and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Douglas Luiz. Me. Taylor with it. Ben Mee, perfectly positioned to take it away. And Chris Wood. Vidra. Really good challenge. And breaking at pace with Menace. But well, nothing comes of it. Well, the referee can't take any chances. And now he will receive attention. play will be restarted by means of a drop ball
Vidra. Disappointing pass. So a half an hour remaining. And the decision offside here. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Westwood, Cork, Vidra, and it's still on, sends it back, and missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Ings. And do they mean business on this occasion? And a chance to level it. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. How to dispossess your opponent. Could be a chance to break here. McNeil. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Oh, a lovely ball. Credit to them for winning back possession. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Well, almost at full time, and this is not really what the home fans had in mind. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts as always. Well, it's been tight, but they've lacked a cutting edge. They've done well at the back and in midfield, but the final pass, the shot or cross have lacked that bit of quality. Can they find that missing link in these final few minutes? And pushed away to safety. Time pass. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. This might be ideal for the counter. Chris Wood. Cork. Can he finish them off? He's done it. What a climax to this game. Well, just look at the defending here. They just don't read the danger. It's a poor goal to concede. And the substitution will occur now. Well, a second goal for them here. Running with the ball confidently. But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Well, no let-up, plenty of pressure. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Can they take advantage of the situation? Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Oh, so the final whistle has sounded and a day of disappointment for Villa. How would you sum it up? You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball and then just a few mistakes at the back and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart.
Well, I thought his all-round game was excellent. It was his ability to find space that impressed me most. And with a bit more luck, he could have had a second one today.